Since Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this repair safely, a warning icon will appear when you should use caution. Before you replace the oven igniter in your gas range, be sure to unplug the power cord or shut off the power supply. Fully open the oven door and rotate both door hinge locks back. Partially close the door, then lift and pull the door toward you to remove. Slide out the oven racks. Use a flathead screwdriver to unthread the two rear screws, securing the oven's bottom panel. Lift the panel up from the back to remove. Using a 3 8 inch socket or nut driver, unthread the nut to release the burner shield. Open the broiler drawer and use a quarter inch socket or nut driver to unthread the screw, securing the wire cover. Move the cover out of the way. Then depress the tabs to disconnect the igniter wire connector and feed the wire connector through the hole in the cover. Detach the wires from the oven safety valve terminals. For easier access to the igniter, you can unthread the two mounting screws to release the burner tube. You can now unthread the mounting screws to release the old igniter. Install the new oven igniter by aligning it on the burner tube and securing it with the mounting screws. If applicable, reposition the burner tube by aligning it on the safety valve orifice and frame. Then re-thread the screws. Attach the wires to the safety valve terminals. Feed the wire connector through the hole in the cover and connect it. Reposition the cover and rethread the screw to hold it in place. Realign the burner shield and rethread the nut. Reinstall the bottom panel by aligning the front edge first. Rethread the two rear screws. Replace the oven racks. Reinstall the oven door by inserting the door hinges into the hinge slots at a 45 degree angle. Lower the door to its fully open position, then rotate the hinge locks forward. Plug the power cord back in or restore the power supply and your gas range should be ready for use.